Hey everyone, it's Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report here on Mingle Media TV. And we are here at the 36th annual Razzie nominations. I know, I know, we've been covering the Oscars all week long, but it's about time we recognize some of the worst performances of the year. Yes, Adam Sandler, I'm talking to you. All right. Well, it looks like it's a very big year for Adam Sandler. Um, I hate, I'm sorry. <laughs> posters are everywhere. I know. I'm sorry to say I've seen some of these, a couple of them on an airplane. <laughs> and you didn't walk out? <laughs> I, I wish I could, but I couldn't. That was our other quote for, for Jack and Jill. So bad if it was on an airplane, you'd still walk out. But um, I, do you think maybe he'll attend? I don't know. I'm, I... I we're about a sense of humor. He supposedly is about a sense of humor, though you might not be able to tell from the stuff he did this year. Uh, we would love it if he did. We would probably ask that if he did, he show up as Jill. That's actually a good idea. Now, Sandra Bullock famously turned up. How many other celebrities have turned up over the years? Um, Bill Cosby. Uh... Halle Berry, who gave the best Razzie speech ever. She had her Oscar in one hand and her Razzie in the other. For Catwoman? For Catwoman, yes. And at this very venue, 10 years ago, Tom Green, who accepted, uh, I think it was seven awards that Freddie got fingered one. <laughs> I forgot all about that one. So Good. gone from memory. I, I erase my memory <laughs> annually for Razzie movies. Now, you guys moved the nominations uh, to the night before, where traditionally you were giving out the awards the night before the Oscars. Why did you do that? couple of different reasons. Um, we wanted to give the members more time to see the stuff and Jack and Jill is out on video March 6th and we also... That's a big selling point. <laughs> <laughs> we also have always wanted to do the Razzies on April Fool's because it points out that it's supposed to be funny. Apparently the industry is humor impaired and still don't get that it's a joke. <laughs> And we're trying to like, it's funny, really, it's funny, April Fool's, get it? You should have a sense of humor about the whole yeah. entire industry. Too. Yes. And anything big for the ceremony? You're going to give us a little uh, hint as to what is to come for April Fool's? Well, if we do an opening number, I'm toying with the idea of doing Mr. Sandman as Mr. Sandler. I've already started working on it. <laughs> I think that is perfect, and it'll just sort of cap off the whole year of Jack and Jill and just go with, just it, go with Bucky, it, Larson Bucky Larson and Banner year, the Mr. joy Sandler. that Adam Sandler gave the world. And he'll get a few of these. A little golden raspberry. A little spray paint. A little spray paint. That's all you need to fix your career. Yeah. Really, Adam. Really. <laughs> Would you have any final words for Adam Sandler? Um, to either help his career or maybe gain more golden raspberries. I think he'd be very smart to play with us because we're not, obviously, from that list that the guy from Rotten Tomatoes read, we're not the only ones who didn't like his movies last year. <laughs> I know. Bucky Larson. Yikes. Zero. <laughs> you got to work for that. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. it.